Welcome back everybody. It's time for our June 2024 Retro Game Treasure Box. I'm bloody chuffed. Let's do it. So I broadened my subscriptions for both Video Games Monthly and for Retro Game Treasure. I included some handhelds. I do this every once in a while. <laughs> uh, just because I do want to collect handheld stuff. But I think every time previously it's been a mistake. But eventually, I'll get some good handheld stuff from them, I'm sure. <laughs> this just came this morning. It's much earlier than I expected. It... It's weird, it told me it shipped like a couple days ago, and usually when Retro Game Treasure tells me that the box shipped, um, I don't get the actual package for several days. I thought the post office was lying to me when I got a notification saying I was getting this today. <laughs> Super stoked. I don't want to uh, prattle on too long. I've got a couple other videos I need to film, <laughs> and uh, it's super hot in here. Uh, we are experiencing this, uh, awful heat wave in the northeast of the United States and whew, buddy it is hot let's feel around we got our discount air pillows that's always the first sign of a good box and we do indeed have our air defender lights discount air pillows where pillows are inflated not prices a seminal classic <laughs> That didn't go at all like I had planned. So let's feel what we got here. I definitely have, feels like a Game Boy game. Atari 2600, NES, and a Master System or Genesis game in the box. Very good mix. Uh, usually I start with Atari, but since we're celebrating the return of handhelds to the boxes, let's go ahead and start with that Game Boy. So, first game. Is that Tiny Toons? That is Tiny Toons. I didn't even know that there was a Tiny Toons game <laughs> on the uh, Game Boy. Holy moly. I can't read what the subtitle is, but nice. Bab's Big Break. I have not played this. Uh, hmm. Oh my gosh. I love Tiny Toons. That was one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. The uh, the special they did where um, the uh, like how I spent my summer vacation. It's one of my favorite things from my childhood. I need to watch that again, see if it holds up. Because I genuinely, when I was a kid, thought that was like the funniest thing that ever existed. Uh, but I know that the uh, Tiny Toon games on the NES are very good. They're Konami games. So wow, you'll see my first impressions. I hope this is a good one. Let me know. You ever played Tiny Toon Adventures Bab's Big Break? I am now glad that I put Game Boy back on the box. This is really, really cool. So first up, we have Tiny Toon Adventures Bab's Big Break. Tiny Toon Adventures Bab's Big Break was published by Konami in 1992. It is a side-scrolling platformer where you take control of several of the characters from the cartoon show, but much to my surprise, not Bab's. What the heck, Konami? All of the characters you control have a different weapon, and each of the levels also feature a special helper character that helps you get through parts of the stages that would not be traversable otherwise. This is a pretty good game. Definitely a bit more sluggish than the NES entries, but I really enjoyed this one. The graphics are a great representation of the cartoon, and the gameplay kept me engaged. I had such a good time with this one that I actually circled back to it at the end of my capture session and I played some more, even though I didn't really have the time to do so. A great game for the Game Boy that I would recommend if you are a fan of platformers or of the source material. fly they got in here and he's flying around and he's driving me nuts. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, second game. We'll go ahead and move on to Atari. Oh, I'm always very excited 
again, I, I say this every time I get an Atari game. You guys are probably tired of hearing it, but this is my biggest collection. And uh, I haven't gotten very many duds yet. They've been, they've been sending me some very, very good Atari 2600 games. So next up for the Atari 2600, we have... I cannot read that backwards. <laughs> uh, Outlaw! Gunslinger Target Shoot. 1979. Okay. I know um, I never had this when I was a kid. I have seen people play it. Uh, but I don't know. I may have played it years ago in emulation. But this is one that I am not very familiar with. So let me know. How is Outlaw? Does it have an end label? No, oh gosh, that's always a bummer. I always... <sighs> I would rather there be an end label than a front label. <laughs> so I can see it when it's on my shelf. That's a bummer, but... Oh well. As long as the game plays, it's all that matters. So, next up, we have Outlaw. Outlaw was published by Atari in 1978 and was the first game made by David Crane for the 2600. There are two game modes, Target Shoot and Gunslinger. Target Shoot is the one-player mode that has you controlling a gunfighter trying to hit 10 moving targets in 99 seconds. Gunslinger is the two-player mode that pits two gunfighters against each other, with the first to hit the other 10 times winning the game. Outlaw isn't a bad little game, but definitely one I think would be a lot more fun in that two-player mode, but sadly, I don't have any friends. <laughs> This is a historically significant game, as David Crane has said that the learning experience of developing this game paved the way for his work on his future, more complicated games. Very happy to have it in the collection. So next up, NES. Pretty much can't go wrong on NES. I mean, I know I say that, <laughs> and then you'll see my reaction. and. Uh, I might be kind of down on a game, but really, I want any and every NES game that I can get my little greasy paws on, so whatever it is, I'm probably going to be happy with, but hopefully it's something that I'm like genuinely excited for. <laughs> so next up, we have... Oh. My God. This is something I'm way more than genuinely excited for. I have been looking for this game. Uh... <laughs> I almost bought this recently. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Like, so seriously, so when I was a kid, we didn't have very many games, and the games that we did have um, were usually secondhand, or we would buy them from the video rental store, because especially, like, after, like, the 32-bit systems had come out, and any NES stock they still had was super cheap. So I'd always go look and see what NES games they had left, and... This is one I got on a whim because it was just a couple bucks. I was not familiar with this property. I didn't know anything about the game, but it was the right price. I had enough money in my little pockets and I got this game. And this brings back a lot of memories. I was not very good at this game. <laughs> I don't know that I necessarily understood everything that I was supposed to be doing. It's been a long time since I've played this game, but um, like the music and the graphics are one of those things that are just kind of burned into my core memories. And this is, Honestly, I don't know what the value of this is. I don't know how this game is going to play uh, for adult me, like how much I'm going to enjoy it, but this is one of the one of my favorite pools in one of these mystery boxes because I have so much nostalgia for this game. I'm genuinely very, very excited about this. Let's see what I think of the gameplay. We got GoGo13. Top Secret Episode. <laughs> Couldn't remember what all the name was. Yeah. GoGo13 Top Secret Episode was published by Vic Tokai in 1988. The game finds you taking control of GoGo13 on a mission to retrieve information and take down the leader of the direct group. Man, oh man, playing this brings back so many memories. I'll never forget the day that I picked this up from the video rental store. It was always so exciting to get a new NES game, and I had never heard of this one when I was a kid, or of the source material. Honestly, I still don't know a lot about the source material. I don't know how modern audiences feel about this one, but I really like it. 
there are a few different gameplay styles that help keep the game fresh. And even though certain elements can be a little clunky, I think it's well worth a play. I am stoked to finally have GoGo13 in the NES collection. All right, and then I think this is the last game, I would assume. Yes, we got Treasure. Um, so last up, either Genesis or Master System. I'm assuming Genesis. I like, so you can put preferences uh, for your box. And I wrote that I want all of my Genesis and Master System games in at the very least a box, not necessarily with manual, it doesn't have to be complete, but I want the box. And they've been very good at doing that. The only time that they ever sent me a game without a box was when they sent me uh, not for resale Sonic 2. I don't know why they sent that to me, but that's the only time they messed up. So last game we have, Oh, it's Genesis NBA Jam. It's just, just regular NBA Jam. I don't know if I've ever played regular NBA Jam. Um, never owned any of the NBA Jams when I was a kid, but I rented constantly from the video store, the same video rental store I was talking about with GoGo13. I would rent NBA Jam Tournament Edition all the time. I love that game. Uh, one of the few sports games I remember actually like really enjoying when I was a kid. Uh, I wasn't really into sports, like real sports in real life, and definitely not in virtual form, but something special about NBA Jam that anybody, I think, can pick up and play it and have a good time. Uh, wow. I, this is a two blast of nostalgia. Like, this may be one of my favorite boxes I've gotten yet. Uh, but uh, let's see if it's complete. Gosh, I'm... I don't know if the heat or I'm just flustered. All right, so there is no manual, which is fine. I can probably uh, find a manual to pick up eventually for probably not very much. I don't know how much this game is going for. I imagine probably not a lot. I imagine they sold a lot of copies of this, but all I really, really care about getting with it is the case. I'll just get the manual later, but cart's in pretty good shape. Um. This is an arena game uh, for anyone who has seen my the ranking videos I've started to do um, when I the next Genesis one I do, I believe I am aiming to do arena next. So this is perfect. Get some time to spend with this and see how I'll rank it. So if you haven't checked out any of my ranking videos, make sure you go do that. <laughs> but awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so excited. It's a good box. So up next. We have NBA Jam for the Super Genesis! Sure. NBA Jam was published by Arena Entertainment in 1994 and was based on the Midway Arcade game from the previous year. This is a sports ball game that, dare I say it, that I absolutely adore. <laughs> it had been many years since I played any iteration of the 16-bit NBA Jam games, and when I first started this up, I was pretty concerned that I was going to fail miserably. But after a few minutes, I was doing all right. And better yet, I was having fun. <laughs> the inclusion of the tutorial screens between quarters even helped me further learn the game as I played, which is just great design. I didn't win the game I played while capturing, but I got pretty darn close and I had a giant grin on my face the entire time. NBA Jam is a fantastic experience for the Sega Genesis, and I highly recommend it for anyone, despite how you may feel about sports ball. All right, and there we go. I think that was a spectacular box. Don't know what the value is. You guys will find out somewhere around here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, unless this box is like worth $5, I don't think there's any way for me to be disappointed. So let's do a quick recap. We have Tiny Toon Adventures, Bab's Big Break for the Game Boy. We have Outlaw for the Atari 2600. We have GoGo13, Top Secret Episode for the NES. And we have NBA Jam. 
the almighty Sega Genesis. I... If I had to pick one game to be my pick of the box, no question, go go 13. I am so freaking excited. I'm, I, 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 the, the way that my videos are scheduled right now, I have a bunch of videos in the works. I'm working on a script. I'm working on getting gameplay footage for my soon to come out uh, Apollo ranking for the Atari. Um, but I've decided to just go ahead, film this, get the game footage done, and uh, I want to get this out, so I've pushed everything back. So that means uh, right after I get done uh, filming this, I get to go play this, and I'm so excited because I haven't, I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. But if I had to pick one, it would be GoGo13. Uh, but two, like, I think really... Both, uh, I, I have two picks of the box. It would be uh, Go 13 and NBA Jam. Dynamite, dynamite pulls. And, you know, I am very excited about this Tiny Toon game. I hope it's good. I don't, re I never knew that there was a Tiny Toon game. There's probably several now that I think of it. I don't know. On the Game Boy. So, gosh, every, I'm, I'm happy with every single game that I received today. And that doesn't always happen. <laughs> that can be kind of rare sometimes, so. Man, that's awesome. I've been prattling on too long. I want to go capture some gameplay footage. I want to thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Too Many Boxes. I've had a good bit of growth on this channel lately, and I'm super excited. I got big things in the works, lots of ideas. But I would just want to thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your watch time. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I will see you next time.